Hey everyone and welcome to the second video in the how to build a browser based MMO version 2.0. Um, last video we kind of left off with uh, we got the web page up, the kind of the front page, got it the bootstrap and everything working so now we can start making some cool styling and everything else. Uh, one thing I've kind of learned is, is you, you definitely got to do things you know, to keep you motivated so what I really want to do is I want to uh, kind of build the page a little better before we get into too much coding kind of do some CSS stuff that will make it look really cool and it won't take long at all we can actually get it looking pretty cool pretty fast um, I did go ahead for those of you um, that need to ask questions or look for the downloads or whatever if you go to indieresource.com go to YouTube tutorials there is now this browser based MMO 2.0 and inside there you'll have all your download uh, download for every file the, the only one that's not really going to have a download the only video is the first one um, just because if, if you want the files, watch through it, go to the second one and then download everything because that's when we start doing the actual coding. So if you don't want to have to download all those libraries, you can just go to the video 2.0 and download those. The first one's really not that important. One thing other one thing other that I wanted to mention was in Bootstrap, if you want to actually look through some of these, they have all of the, the CSS in here and the components that they have and everything else. It's really cool that you can kind of read about and, and bootstrap and bootstrap really does a lot of really cool things but with that kind of stuff out of the way we left off here um there so let's just let's just get started on a couple things what i did and you will have to download at least these pictures unless you want to add your own pictures so before you go downloading anything and you don't want to the only thing i did was i added a media folder so i just created a new folder and I created a, just us a, a real quick logo and a background. I just took them off the internet. This one I just kind of built real quick. I'm not a graphic artist, but if anybody wants to add new ones or change them, but you can do whatever you want. And um, right now, these are the dimensions of the first one, 2568 by 1460. And then the logo is 703 by 267. Um, it's a PNG because it does have transparency. This one's just JPEGs, but it's a smaller file. But both of them are pretty small and smaller. I'm not going to worry about doing too much work on getting these things like as small as possible because this is just a, uh, a tutorial anyway. So let's dig right into this thing. Let's get, start making this thing look better. The first thing I want to do is I want to get this background looking good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our index. We, the first thing we need to do is we need to add our own style sheet because we, we haven't added that yet. So let's go ahead and really if you want, if you just want to copy this other style sheet, and paste it right on top. Um, we can actually paste it on bottom. It doesn't really matter here, but make sure that the other one's bottom. That way, it overwrites anything that we want to overwrite. So all we got to do is lib and library and then style.css, and that'll copy our own, which is currently empty, our own style sheet. Um, so now that we have that done, let's let's bring in the body of this this thing. So let's just type in body to make a body tag. It's gonna at least mine auto fills the other one, so I'm just gonna cut it out and put it at the very bottom so that way we encompass the whole thing in a body the reason why is if you go to your uh, let's see if we go to our MMO tutorial and we go into our library and we open up our style sheet open with brackets and we now have a blank one we can now call on the body and we can do background color and the cool thing about the one thing I like about brackets is I can come in here and I could do this, and I can actually just right mouse click, quick edit, and edit it the way I want. Now I already know I want black, so I'm just going to type in black. Save that. We can go back over, refresh, and we now have a black. Now if we notice, this is all messed up here. So the other thing we want to do is we want to go back to brackets, and then put color white. And that'll fix that. And we'll go to that in a second. But the next thing I want to do is, if you notice here, our container fluid is where actually where I want to add our background image. And I'll show you why. So with this container fluid right here, what we can do is we can actually, we can append to the current container fluid CSS because it is a, since it is a class. So we can do dot container fluid. And then we can do background image, we do a URL, make sure you put in your double quote, and we can do, so we need to go back a directory, so if you do dot dot slash, then we can go to our media, and then we can do our background. 
And for those of you that are brand new to CSS or to any of this other stuff, if you notice I'm not explaining every single thing, it's because I don't really want to slow down the tutorial with stuff that you're probably not going to remember anyway. The best way to learn is to just as you use it. So you just we'll just kind of figure it out as you go. And most of it's easy enough. You will kind of probably just by watching figure out how it works. So the other thing I want to do is I don't want it to repeat. So I'm going to do background and there's a repeat down here. And I'm going to put no repeat. That way it doesn't repeat it and look all weird. And then the last thing I want to do is I'm going to center up that image so I can do background position and then do center. And let's see what that looks like. So right now you can't really see it because it, and for one thing the page isn't long enough. The second thing is this big old ugly thing here is. So I'm going to get rid of that. So that's the next thing we're going to change real quick. We're going to go to our index and we're going to go down to our should be Jumbotron right here. I'm actually going to change this to Banner. And that's just basically Class Banner. We don't have anything named Class Banner yet, but it, it'll be fine. It just won't find anything. So <clears throat> notice it shrunk it up. Everything kind of looks really weird. So let's fix that real quick. First thing, let's get this whole background image working right. And the only reason why we, we're going to put in a little hack right now, only because this eventually will autofill for us. But since we don't, we don't have any content in there, I'm just going to simulate content. So all we have to do is go to Style. If you notice in your index, there are columns. So just a real quick bootstrap for those of you new to bootstrap. You have your column. So you have what, what's called rows, which is, think of Excel. You have your rows, which is, you got a row right here that encompasses everything. So everything is row. So your banner's a row. If we go here, your banner's a row. This is a row. This is a row. Think of it as div tags. And then each one of these is columns, which is pretty kind of self-explanatory. So you have COL, which is column, MD is medium, you also have LG, which is large, and you have SM is small, and then XS, which is extra small. And you can actually come in here and define if it's an extra small screen, then it should be the size of two or one. What that does is that allows you to, to allows Bootstrap to look at the size of the screen and define how big those columns are. It's not something we need to get into now, it'll, otherwise it'll be just, you'll just get lost and it's not worth it. So we'll get into it later, but... The next thing we can look at is it's also got this column class here. So if we go in here and append to the column class, we can do dot, oops, column. Uh, we can do, and I, what I want to do is I want to do a border. Like I said, this isn't the permanent. We're just doing this so we can see our border. Uh, we're going to do one px, and then we're also going to do solid. We can we can attach two there. Then we're going to do a border color so we can see it of white. And then the other only other thing I'm going to do here, which like I said, I'm going to get rid of is a temp, and I'm going to um, I'm going to build a temp class. And the only thing I'm going to put in here is height. Uh, let's do 600 pixels back to our index. So now we just need a, any one of these will work. Like this first column, if we want to put it in here, just put in temp. And that'll make this column, which all the other columns will follow. Just, just so I can show it to you a little better if we hit refresh. What that did is that expanded it out. We still have our second one down here, or our footer, um, that we'll go into later. But basically what this did is it just kind of, A, put the borders around all of our, almost like divs or columns. I do that just so I can see where I'm at on everything, so you can kind of see them. And then this, the second piece to this was expanding this out. So, like I said, normally we're going to have content here because this is autofill, but I just needed to see it. And I'll tell you what, what I want to do is I actually want to change that to about 700 so I can, so we can see everything. We'll hit refresh. <clears throat> there we go, a little better. So now let's fix this logo. Let's get this thing looking good. So let's put in our logo. If you remember, we made a class called banner so we can do dot banner really I don't know that we need anything in banner um, let's do it this way let's go open our index let's find our banner let's get rid of all this let's see and then let's just do our image source equals media logo like I said, you can put whatever logo, banner, background you guys want to do your game. This is just for this temp. You can you download these if you just need temp for now. So let's see what that does. I already know one thing that's going to be a problem. is It's going to be pushing it right there. 
So this, so what we want to do now is center it. So that's when we go back to our style.css and we do text align center. And even though it says text, it's kind of off throwing. It's actually truly um, aligning anything inside that div pretty much. So if we refresh, that centers it. So we're looking a lot better now. We're starting to look like a game. Um, and like I said, this, this white stuff, we'll, we'll remove this later. We just need to see where we're at right now. And once we start building the maps in, that background will get covered. And we may want to change the background. If you guys want to, you know, if you guys have a better background you want to use, feel free to send it and I'll use it. No big deal. So we're looking a lot better. The only thing I don't like is, is this up here. But for now, let's just leave it there. It's not really that important. We do have kind of some makeshift stuff in here. But of course, it doesn't fit the flow so we'll probably put some other kind of background in there later if you guys want to send in something like I said feel free to send it in um, but definitely definitely looking a lot better I won't make this um, this uh, video too long because this does kind of get us to where things are starting to look a lot better the one thing I would say for those of you that don't know bootstrap and are kind of learning I would go in and play around with your style sheet and and one thing I did want to go over, so let's let's do this real quick. Let's let's just understand what Bootstrap is doing here. So we have this container fluid that is covering the entire page, that's basically centering everything. We have our, our our main row which ends here, and then we have another row that's here, which is basically what I showed you before, the two rows. And then we have a column of twelve, which is that banner, which means it's the whole goes around the whole twelve. So basically, what it does, it breaks everything into twelve pieces. Well, this is saying I want all twelve. And then this, after we get past that, we get to our next row. We have that one column, remember, that we built on the side. Then we have the four that's going to be our map. And then we have our three, which is going to be some stats. Another three, more stats. And then our last one to fill it up. So that all equals 12. And so it basically breaks everything like an Excel spreadsheet, like I said before. And then we have our final um, column at the bottom. And the reason why you're not seeing that at the bottom, if we were to, if we were to put on... Um, I don't want to do it, but let's just put in temp here. Make it 700. You'll see that it's now that that's our bottom div as well. Or I'm sorry, bottom column row. <clears throat> so this is a good place to stop. We got this done. We got a nice background to give you guys time to kind of make your own backgrounds and things and put them in there. And the next thing we're going to start working on is getting we're going to start learning some JavaScript and we're going to start getting this map in place. To me, that's pretty important to see how the map's going to work. And I've got a lot of ideas on the map. I would really like to go back to the old days of, of being able to, to, to travel a map, um, lumber from it, harvest, build your own player houses, uh, build guild houses, things like that. That's where I eventually want to go. So I think the map's going to be fun. And it's going to be a big thing. So we'll, we'll get started on it next.